mechanical knowledge. We have electrical knowledge. We have biblical knowledge. A lot of knowledge God has given unto us. And if you don't have such a knowledge, you will think all of them are miracles. Anybody can hold a phone with the knowledge he has acquired, making people to receive a lot. But if you don't have such a knowledge, you will think this is God. Mm. And because people love money, okay. they don't love God. There are pastors who don't open Bible before they preach. What they do is to Google any message that somebody has preached. And that's what they want to download on Sunday. A message that the Holy Spirit did not inspire. Okay. A message you did not receive from God. And that's what you want to give to members. That's what they want to take away. Okay. Most pastors don't have time to read the Bible. And because of that, they don't know what the Bible is saying. And therefore, all these things we are bringing out, they don't have it. Okay. And what you don't have, you can't give. Oh, yeah. Until people stop seeking for signs and wonder. They are still the fake pastors. They are still the fake prophets. God can do anything. If only we can yield to him. To the glory of God, the number of people God has used me for, most of them I have never seen them, eyes to eyes. It's not mean that we do it. They get the number, they call, we pray on phone, deliverance will happen. Just like that. I'm telling you, sir. Mm. Without seeing them. Because I'm not the one, I don't have the power to do any miracle. But when I live a godly life, God will stay inside me. If people are not after the miracle, mm. but they are after God, the life will be better. The country will be better. The home will be better. The environment will be better. Yes, sir. But if it is only miracle we want to be looking for, searching for, mm. the country will continue like this. Mm. The family will continue like this. Mm. Husband will not enjoy his wife. The children will not enjoy their parent. Wife will not enjoy her husband. Because the three of them, the husband, the wife, and the children, they don't follow what the word of God says. I agree with you, sir. And that is our problem. We have stopped looking for God. They are seeking free food. Yes, and sir. the man knew. And is giving them free food. If they are seeking for God, no matter what the man will cook, they won't go and eat it. Can I go there and eat now? No matter how hungry I am. No, sir. I won't go. Can possible. you go there and eat? No, 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 sir. You no, cannot. No, I'd rather buy my gallon this way. Uh -huh. street and buy water and, and drink and drink. get... And go on. Jesus said, if you have what to eat and you have something to cover your body, he said that one should be enough for you. But when people are looking for the best clothes in the world to put on, the best shoe to put on, the best rich to wash, and God is not giving you at that point in time, you will be forced to do anything together. One day I had an encounter. The queen of the coast appeared to me. He said, you. She spoke in Yoruba. She said, well, mm. She now mentioned the name of one bishop in Nigeria. Mm. She said, go and ask that bishop what I've turned his ministry to. Mm. <laughs> I woke up and I said, mm. whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. Mm. I am not going to deviate. So there are people that have deviated because of the threat of the devil. Mm. Devil made them to know that if they don't follow him, it will make them to be nothing. Mm. They will not be known.
Mm. You look at the church today, mm. all the news around the church is bad, evil, especially in the Pentecostal sector. You look at the pastor that goes to America and tells the congregation that the Holy Spirit just ministers to him and that the angels are now dropping money in people's phone. Mm. And people are receiving a lot. And people are saying, Papa, this one just received $2,000. The other one received $1,000. Papa is double zero zero zero. Then he does that in his house. He does that in America. Then he goes outside. In fact, uh, Inenche went to Cameroon recently. One poly Inenche in Abuja. I don't know. It do not miss church. And all the people, he said, uh, they, are, they, are, they, they have, uh, they, are, they are lame. All the working stick they took from there were brand new. Seven working stick. And we wonder, can seven different lame people come with brand new working stick? Does, not, does it not mean that they've been using those working sticks for long? Did they bought it for them that day? That is by the side. Mm. Then this other one that called himself the Suleiman also said the man was coming out from the toilet in Germany and he didn't have visa. He, that he told him to go and the man was on the queue. He wanted to travel to Germany from to France and he entered the toilet. By the time he eased himself, when he opened the door, he met himself in France. And you keep wondering. Then he come again and tell you another story that somebody wanted to marry somebody in his church. He wanted to marry a girl. He has to buy a jeep for two boys, paid billions, but the girl didn't list him. Then later, the, the girl declared that the person wanted to use her for ritual. Then he comes again and said he was living in America one day. Somebody bought a watch of $250,000 for him. He didn't say anything. When the person left, he came down from the plane. He, he told the girl that sent him the watch to take the watch, wire to forty thousand dollars to his account in Nigeria, and take ten thousand dollars. All sort of ambiguous, high fallacy, mm. unfounded testimonies. I mean, on the altar of God. Mm. And this same man still goes around doing the uh, crusade in the both in, the, in America. Do I hear cannot enter London because of a big case? Go to South Africa, some countries that are spiritually demented coming to Ghana, then goes around. Then you look at him, always on YouTube, every time you keep wondering, so with this kind of thing going on in the church, mm -hmm. what do you think is the position of the future of the church? Mm. It's right for young people. This question is already answered in the Bible. And it is just a problem that many people that go to church, they don't open Bible until the pastor say, oh yeah, let's read the Bible, open your Bible to this other place. Hmm. You are right, sir. That's a big problem. If you have your Bible, hmm. you can live a holy life. You can live a successful life. Unguided. I'm telling you the truth. Hmm. By the help of the Holy Ghost. Everything we see these days is already being foretold. Hmm. And Jesus said something in the book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 35. Hmm. Matthew 24, verse 20, 35 says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will by no means pass away. Hmm. And what is Jesus saying? I come to the same Matthew 24, verse 3 says, hmm. Now as he sat on the Mount Olives, the disciple came to him privately saying, Tell us, when will this thing be? And what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the world? Hmm. I don't know why they were led to go to Jesus to ask such a question. Okay. And hmm. Jesus took time to answer those questions. And when he started ask, asking the question, this is what Jesus said. And Jesus answered and said unto them, take heed that no one deceives you. And that's where we are missing it. Mm. The, the, all the people you, you, you have seen going to such a crusade, they have failed to heed this commandment. Jesus said, take heed mm. so that you are not deceived. Mm. Why are people being deceived? Because they are not looking for God. They are only looking for what pastor can give them. Whether the power the pastor is using is from God or not, they are not ready to be bothered about that. All they are looking for is what the pastor can give. And Jesus went on to say, for many will come in my name, mm. saying, I am the Christ, and they will deceive many. That is the word. Jesus Christ. It's a prophecy. Jesus has foretold that many will come God. in his name. 
and the minute you hear prophet or pastor or reverend or bishop or apostle, you easily conclude he's a man of God. Just like that. But the truth is that many are not men of God. Many of them are not men of God. They are ordinary pastor. Anybody can give you such a name. They are ordinary prophet. Mm. For the fact that you, you see something and it comes to pass, or you say something and it comes to pass, does not really make you a man of God. A man of God must have the character of God. A man of God must have the mind of God. Even when miracles are not happening in your ministry, but your character will show that you represent God. That this is what God can do if God can be working on this earth. So, back to your question. Mm. Because people don't study the word of God, they don't really know that there are a lot of fake, fake pastors, fake prophets that have acquired power anyhow to do miracles. And since they know that it is miracle, miracle, miracle that people are looking for, they want to get the power anyhow. In fact, I've listened to people that say, I don't give a damn on how they get their power. All I want is the miracle that the power can give. Gao. Mm. That's a very horrible fact. It's a, fa it's it's a, a miracle that the power can give that I'm after. Gao. And because these people know that what people are looking for these days is not God, it is a miracle. Mm. And therefore, they go extra mile mm. to acquire power. Mm. Which their knowledge, they can use the four you are talking about to make things happen. When Daniel was in the spirit, Daniel chapter 12, verse 4, he said in the last day, knowledge will be increased. Mm. We have, what is it? Mechanical knowledge. We have electrical knowledge. We have biblical knowledge. A lot of knowledge God has given unto us. And if you don't have such a knowledge, you will think all of them are miracles. Anybody can hold a phone with the knowledge he has acquired, making people to receive a lot. But if you don't have such a knowledge, you will think this is God. Hmm. And because people love money, okay. they don't love God. One of the prophecies that Timothy gave before he died from the Mount of Apostles, he said in the last day, Perilous time will come. That is 2 Timothy 3, Chapter 3, 1 to 6. Yeah, he said, perilous time will come. And when he was giving us the account of what we begin to see, he said, men will be lovers of themselves. It's already happening. He said, they will be lovers of pleasure. He said, they will be lovers of money. He said, the children will be disobedient to their parents. Instantly. A lot of prophecies. But the issue is this. How many of us are reading this scripture? Mm. A lot of people don't even know where it is written. There are pastors who don't open Bible before they preach. What they do is to Google any message that somebody has preached. And that's what they want to download on Sunday. A message that the Holy Spirit did not inspire. Okay. A message you did not receive from God. And that's what you want to give to members. That's what they want to take away. Okay. Most pastors don't have time to read the Bible. And because of that, they don't know what the Bible is saying. And therefore, all these things we are bringing out, they don't have it. Okay. And what you don't have, you can't give. Oh, yeah. So if people really know that, what we are going through is a fulfillment of the prophecies, they will not be complaining. When they see fake pastors, they will surely conclude, God has spoken, that in the last day, these are some of the signs. So in one word, sir, hmm. those people you mentioned doing such miracles, it is because they see people that are looking for miracles. Hmm. And as long as they continue to, to see people that are looking for miracles, they will still have members. They will still be having followers. No, that's but, if people are not after the miracle, mm. but they are after God, the life will be better. The country will be better. The home will be better. The environment will be better. Yes, sir. But if it is only miracle we want to be looking for, searching for, mm. the country will continue like this. Sir. Mm. The family will continue like this. Mm. 
husband will not enjoy his wife. The children will not enjoy their parent. Why will not enjoy her husband? Because the three of them, the husband, the wife, and the children, they don't follow what the word of God says. I agree with you, sir. And that is our problem. We have stopped looking for God. Gone are those days, even when miracles were not happening in the life of John the Baptist. He was only preaching the message of repentance inside the bush. And people were trooping into the bush to listen to what he wanted to, to say. The Bible did not say he recorded the miracle. He was busy preaching, preaching, had the message. The message that those, those Pharisees will hear and they will be mad. And they kept on going. But because when Jesus came, he said something that the devil picked. Jesus said, without signs and wonder, these people will not believe. Mm. Jesus released such a statement and the devil to pick it. Okay, signs and wonder will be driving them. I can equally anoint my own pastors now. And the devil is busy anointing pastors all over the world because of signs and wonder. Mm. And that is the problem of the church, my brother. Right now. Up to tomorrow. That is the problem of the church. Until people stop seeking for signs and wonder, there will still be fake pastors, there will still be fake prophets. God can do anything. If only we can yield to him. To the glory of God, the number of people God has used me for, most of them I have never seen them, eyes to eyes. It's not me that we do it. They get the number, they call, we pray on phone, deliverance will happen. Just like that. I'm telling you, sir. Mm. Without seeing them. Because I'm not the one, I don't have the power to do any miracle. But when I live a godly life, God will stay inside me. Jesus said, we have not chosen him. John chapter 16. He said he's the one that has chosen us. And he said without him, we cannot do anything. We cannot manifest. It's a word we should take. Without him, we cannot do anything. Hmm. No matter how powerful a herb is, leaves or root, no matter how powerful it is, yes, sir. a herb will be useless when there's no man to use it. Ogao. Am I correct? Yeah, very correct, sir. If you just be idle. To be idle. Dry away. And so it takes a man who will understand the, the power of this herb, mix it, use it, before the heart will be useful. I agree with you. This phone we carry about is going to be useless until somebody open it on it. Yes, sir. And that's how I see, that is my own way of seeing God. Mm. And that's how I take God. If God is not ready to use me, mm. I will be useless. Mm. So I must allow God to come into my life. Is It is God to tell me what to do. He's one to tell me where to go. I didn't choose myself. He said he has chosen me. Hmm. I didn't choose him. So he gives you the direction. He gives me direction. And if I follow the direction, there will be a miracle. I want to ask you this girl that how do you, people, how can you recognize a good minister of God? Then that is one day. As I said, the question is, what is the difference between a man called by God and a man chosen by God? Is there a difference? Everybody will call hmm. from darkness to light. It's a general grace. Mm. But not all of us were choosing mm. to handle a particular assignment. But before you can be choosing, you must be called. You must be called from darkness to light. And when you are called from darkness to light, there are things you are to go through. There are things you are to go through even before you'll be given the assignment. Maybe I should give you an example. When a team is preparing for a tournament, maybe a Nigerian team, for example, yes, sir. and they are looking for players, the coach will call a lot of pastors from Nigeria, from outside Nigeria. But not all the people they call, they are going to choose. Is it not true? Yeah, right, sir. They can call 100 players. Yes, sir. But at the end of the day, they will shortlist maybe 24. Yes, sir. So, Maximum. Uh -huh. Many are called. Jesus said, many of us are called, but very few of us are choosing. 
when you are not qualified, you cannot be chosen. Mm. That is the truth. In your office, in your organization, there are a lot of people you, you, you may have under you. But the truth is that you are in a position to assign them one thing or the other. Just because they are under you does not give them the grace to do anything anyhow. You must assign them. But before you can assign them, they must be called, mm. they, must, they must be able to register with you. No matter how experienced they are, no matter how knowledgeable they are, they must first be an employee of your own, or your own organization before you can say, okay, you go and do this one. So the difference between calling and choosing is that a called man is somebody that enjoys the grace of God to be a child of God. Mm. It's a general grace. And that's why God said, Jesus died for the whole world. Mm. Mean God extend the calling or the call to every human being in the world. Mm. So when you hit that call, then you can be qualified to be choosing, mm. to handle one aspect of assignment or the other. When Jesus spent the whole night to choose only 12 disciples, out of so many disciples. Yes, sir. He spent the whole night to make such a choice. Spiritual consultation within itself. Uh -huh. So the issue of choosing is not something you do in the flesh. Because it's a spiritual assignment. For God to have choose you, he wants to use you for something. But the general mistake we make these days is that everybody believes you can be a pastor, you can be a prophet, you can be an evangelist. It is true. Because First Timothy chapter 3 said, if somebody wants to be a bishop, it's a good thing. Or a general overseer. Uh -huh. It's a good thing. Mm. Because Jesus said, the harvest is plenty. It's mature yeah. for, for, for reaping. Yeah. He said, but the laborers are very few. Yeah. That we should pray Limited. to God to give us laborers. Yes, sir. So if you desire the office of a prophet, of a bishop, of your pastor, it is not a sin. But the truth is that you must be trained before you be choosing. You don't, you don't just enter into it, otherwise you will, you will fumble. Mm. Then your next question. Yeah, the next question is that, uh, uh, how do you recognize a good minister of God? Jesus how? said, because today, oh, want to go to this church, you want to go to this There's even another one that calls himself a friend. Put the money in capital, be big money and show it to the world. So, People rush there because he's giving them cars, he's giving them money, he's giving them everything live on video against Matthew 6, 1 to 4. So you wonder. So the question is, how do you recognize a good man of God? Is it by popularity or by discretion? It's not by popularity because you can get your popularity anyhow. Mm. It's by the work they do. The work they are doing, what is the relation between their work and that of Jesus Christ? Mm. If there's somebody to print money or to distribute money. Lavishly in the public. That person should be Jesus Christ. But he didn't do it. He did not do it. The only, the only prominent miracle he does with crowd is when they were hungry. Yeah, 5,000 feeding 5,000. And 5, he did it for a reason. When Peter said, let them go, let them go and look for what they can eat. Jesus said, no, they have been here with me for three days. If you allow them to go, they may faint on the way. Yes. Jesus did not do the miracle the first day they came. Not the second day. Not until the third day, when he discovered that they were hungry. So all the people that have been going there to look for money, it is the money they are looking for, not God. Mm. The people Jesus fed, they did not look for food. They went to look for Jesus. And they listened to Jesus. And after listening to Jesus for days, Jesus said, these people must be hungry now. If he himself, he was a human being. These people must be hungry now. I cannot just ask them to go now. Mm. Let me give them what they can eat. Even when they did not ask for food. Mm. So how do you recognize mm. a, a true man of God? It is by the work he's doing. Mm. It is by the character. Somebody may be, may be distributing money. That does not make him a, a man of God. Because he has a mission of doing what he's doing. God did never call us to be distributing money. He called us, uh -huh, he called us to save souls. 
not to distribute money. You want to distribute money? How many people are you distributing the money to? No, you rely them on say me. I give you one million, Abi. Papa don't give you two million, Abi. You, I don't do marriage for you. How much I give you? One point five million. I will give you one million again, no. You, I give you. I buy car for you, Abi. I give you five hundred thousand. What are they looking for? Yes, sir. It is the spirit of the world. It is not the mind of God. Spirit of the world. The spirit of God has to do with pride. And First John. Chapter 2 from verse 15, 16, 17 said, those things they distributed, we must not love them. God called them the things of the world. And God said, don't love the world, neither those things in the world. Mm. If you love the things of the world, he said, the love of God is not in you. Mm. He said, and this world you think you love is going away, and all that is in the world. Mm. But those who love God will live forever. Mm. It is the love of God that is very scarce. Oh God. And that is the most rejected commandment in the, the Bible. In the Bible sir. God said, love me with your whole heart. And if the heart is like this container, yes, sir. and God said, love me with all the space in this container, it means there should be no space for another thing to love. Hmm. God should occupy the whole container. But when you love God with half of this container, what happened to the remaining part of the, of, of Empty. the container? Empty. So, so something must actually occupy those ones. Mm. So if you think you love God, you love money, you love ladies, or you love cars, God cannot stay together with those things inside the one heart. Mm. And the secret of that commandment is this. If only we can love God, he said, all other things will follow us. Mm. That is Matthew 6, 33. Yeah. Love God. Seek the kingdom. If you seek the kingdom, all of that thing will seek you. I thank God for his grace upon my life. Because that word has really helped me. In your own life, sir? I'm telling you. After seeking the kingdom? I don't know. People that are watching and that knows me can testify to that. When they are coming to Nigeria from wherever they are in the Western world, Pastor, what do we buy for you? I said, don't worry. Don't you need anything? I said, my need are limited. Hmm. Why? Because if that is what is driving me, to oh God. I will miss God. Oh God. I will miss God. If that is the reason why I'm doing the work, I can easily abandon the work. So people don't see God again. Mm. And when you see God, the, 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 the secret is that there's nothing in this world that God cannot command to be following you. You can imagine one of the part, the, 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 is it the Sulem? I say opening a free restaurant, people should come and be eating, that is going to be killing cow every day and spending millions every month. And, and you see people trooping there. They are trooping to eat a bar, eat rice, eat moi moi, everything. They, and you wonder, where is the correlation? Where is the money coming from? Who gives him the money? Where did, does it make it in an economy that is as crazy as it is right now? Mm -hmm. So yeah, what kind of food is this free food? It is what people seek that they see. Mm. They are seeking free food. Yes, and the man knew. And is giving them free food. If they are seeking for God, no matter what the man will cook, they won't go and eat it. Can I go there and eat now? No matter how hungry I am. No, sir. I won't go. Can you go there and no, eat? No, 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 sir. You cannot. No, I'd rather buy my gallon this way. Uh -huh. street and buy water and drink, drink and get. And go on. Jesus said, if you have what to eat and you have something to cover your body, he said that one should be enough for you. But when people are looking for the best clothes in the world to put on, the best shoe to put on, the best rich to wash, and God is not giving you at that point in time you will be forced to do anything to get them. Mm. Mm. Because until you put on those things, in fact, the people of the world, they don't really want to believe that God really called you. Look how. I listened to a man of God, very big man of God in Nigeria, who said, when God called you, and for five years, you don't have money to buy a landed property for your church, God has not called you. A very big man of God. I won't mention names. You will have even mentioned names so that you can learn from his story. You can imagine. <laughs> but the truth is that, was but, it right? 
Very wrong. Mm. Paul spent years on that preaching the gospel. He never buy a land to build a church. And this man I'm talking about, a lot of people respected him. And when such a man began to preach this way, pastors that are young, who has not been able to be reading the word of God, the house of the Holy Spirit, they easily believe because they will believe this man cannot lie. If Papa can say this, he's saying the truth. The Papa is saying the truth. And they can do anything to get the landed property. Even duping people. That is the truth. And that is never the basis of winning souls. It's, it is never the basis of winning souls. The souls we win is not even our own. Look how. But because we want to be proud of the member, we want to let people know that we have so so followers. These are my member. Who are your member? You, did you die for them? Jesus is the owner of the members. We are servants. Mm. Servant doesn't have authority in the house. Jesus is the owner. A situation whereby past, two pastors are fighting because of one member. It has happened before in Oregon. It's still happening now. The ruined household of God and Christ embassy, they, were, they used to fight in those days at the bus stop. That, one is, that one is even... even because the commissioner of police will not stop it. That one is even easy. Mm. I heard of one. Mm. The same ministry. Are you hearing me now? The same ministry. Mm. The one you are talking about. Yes, different sir. ministry. Yes, a different but ministry. I'm talking of... They were neighbors. The same ministry. Mm. Uh, maybe one one, one uh, parish is uh, maybe number four. Uh, at the Labu Street. And the, the other... Parish is maybe number 50, Adil Abusi. The same street, Jesus. the same ministry, but the same neighborhood. Oh, uh -huh. they're fighting over member. Jesus Christ. Can you get what I'm saying? I'm, so, I'm shocked, sir. I'm embarrassed. Fighting <clears> over <throat> member. Fighting over member. Hey. And this member, they belong to the same ministry that you two pastors belong to. I don't know if you get around. I understand. Is. So, person, your 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 ministry is a faith living Bible church. Yes. And you have branches. Yes. On the same streets. On the same street. I just lucky to have two branches on the same. On the same street. street. That is what I'm talking about. Mm. And two pastors are fighting over one member. Why? Because the man, the, this very member has money, and immediately he leaves that parish, he's going with the money, mm. he's going with the tithe and offering. So it means we are now winning souls. We steal souls. So, Jesus, Kai, and personally, I am not surprised because prophecy must be fulfilled. Jesus has prophesied that in the last days, these things will happen. If they don't happen, we need another Bible. Sir. So, we need another Bible. So, as they are happening, I am happy because the end is about to come. But very many of us we have failed to heed and advise. Jesus said. Take heed so that you will not be deceived. Take heed so that you will not be deceived. Jesus knew many will be deceived. Housewife will be deceived in the process of looking for a child. I must born for this man. Mm. Is that she starts moving from one prophet to another. And before she knows what is happening, the prophet will tell her, me, I have anointed manhood. Your husband cannot impregnate you. If a woman coming from London, she used to be in MFM before. This is a woman that called me. I have the evidence. She said the pastor, when she couldn't have child, he said, the pastor is married. And he said, let me just help you with my spam, that my spam can do a miracle. That's life. what I'm saying. Yes, sir. And when the, when the woman wants to remain in her husband's house, yes. he allows such things. Somebody said, if Nigeria should allow DNA to take place, that most people will be surprised what will happen. A whole household will break, sir. There will be commotion everywhere, sir. Because when you have four children and the only one is your own. Mm. No, a lot of people discover everyone at the point of exit at the airport. When uh -huh. they, 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 they want to give them visa and they say, the DNA came out. All this thing you present to us is not yours. Only one is yours out of four. Then the master beating the wife, then everything, they barrow, they can't travel again. Imagine. And that is what is happening because people want to get anything Anyhow. at all costs. They don't want to know the power you have acquired to get it. Just give me. Okay. Pastor, I need husband. Just give me husband. Pastor, I need child. Anyhow you want to give me. Pastor, I'm tired. My husband wants to send me out of the house. And you get the child. Mm. But at the end of the day, the, Jesus says, he said, there's nothing that is hidden that will not be exposed. That is the truth. 
He said in that Matthew 24, 35, he said, all the word that I've spoken, no one will go without being fulfilled. Mm. He said, nothing that is hidden will not be exposed. If you are doing something underground, very soon before you know it, is it not God? Is that even to the rooftop? Of course. God will expose you. Mm. I'm telling you, very soon you will see what will happen, even in this country. There are big men of God that will fall, they will not be able to rise up. I'm telling you, big men of God will fall and they won't be able to rise up. Why? Because why they were going with the ministry, they saw the attack of the devil, mm. and the devil told them, if you don't compromise, I will disgrace you. Mm. I had the experience mm. your on two occasions. The devil faced me in a serpentine form. I put on a bag. I was on a journey, a ministerial journey. Mm. The snake just appeared. He said, I said, you should follow me. He said, you want to follow that dead man? I said, who was there? He said, that, that, that man. I knew, he was, I knew he was talking to Jesus. I said, he died, but he resurrected. Mm. The devil said, he will make me to be anything. I, and I said, I'm not going to be anything. Mm. So there are pastors that face such a threat from the devil. And because they don't believe in God, they yielded. And therefore, they basleted. And what they are doing now is what the devil has there to do. One day I had an encounter. The queen of the coast appeared to me. He said, you. She spoke in Yoruba. She said, mm. She now mentioned the name of one bishop in Nigeria. Mm. She said, go and ask that bishop what I've turned his ministry to. Mm. <laughs> I woke up and I said, mm. whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. Mm. I am not going to deviate. So there are people that has deviated because of the threat of the devil. Hmm. Devil made them to know that if they don't follow him, it will make them to be nothing. Hmm. They will not be known. Hmm. And if you listen to such a threat, you can easily follow the devil. Can you imagine? I'm telling so you. The queen has because appeared. And she appeared to, appear to me. When she stood in the sky, she said, I command power from the east, from the west, from the south, and from the north. Mm. And then the last statement she used was that the war was Agba, got him for jewelry, all of us in your lono. These are some of the things the devil can say to us in order to make us to be afraid. Only my Agba. But I know that I didn't call myself, I did not choose myself. Mm. Somebody chose me. Can you imagine? And as long as I'm not going to be diabolical, no matter what she's going to do, God will be on my side. Mm. And that has been helping me. Mm. As a choosed person, you can be allowed to go through a lot. But the truth is that God is with you. At all times. Jesus said in Matthew 28 from verse 18, He said, all power in heaven and earth has been given unto me. He said, go into the world, preach the, the, preach the gospel. He said, make a disciple. He now released it. He was said, Lo, I am with you. Not only this time. He said, Till the end of the world. Mm. That word is an anchor. He said, I am with you. Mm. You may not see him, but he's with you. He won't lie. He mm. said, I am with you. Anywhere you are going, I am with you. Mm. Whatever the devil is doing, I'm seeing the devil. I am in charge. I am in control. Mm. So these are the things that make us to still stand. With God, I'm telling you, my brother. I wanted to ask you the question that, sir, recently mm. we heard of the situation of the son of a pastor. First and foremost, this man of God, Padeboe, mm -hmm. uh, first said that if you don't pay tithes, you are not going to heaven, period. He said it in the broadcast. Mm. That is by the side. Then recently, his son, the, 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 the wonderful young man called the Liki Adeboe, who is also the PA to the father, mm. called some of the pastors of that church, and said they are goats. And you know the peculiarity of goats and sheep. He said they are goats, yet since today the father has never said anything. Of course, the father is a gentleman. Mm. He didn't say anything, but they said they conscripted three member, something, something, this general committee, well, all his father's lucky, and the guy just reluctantly said sorry after like a few days, you know. But what does this tell you about, and how do you feel about that as a Christian leader? I mean, To be calling a co-pastor yeah, a goat, goat and all of them that they are goats. Well, I saw it in a newspaper, and... I didn't read further to know why he was calling them goat.